Hey everyone, before I get started on this hike, I just want to show you what I have brought along for some trail food. It's almost as big as my head. Uh, we are at Cedar Bluffs Nature Preserve. Uh, it's managed by the Nature Conservancy. And I want to take you guys uh, down on the trail, down near the creek, so you can see the water and uh, the bluffage, as my buddy uh, Sean from Hiking with Sean would say. We're going to see some raw southern Indiana bluffage today. So we're going to uh, head down this trail here. You may, I don't know, but you may be able to hear the sound of the rushing water in the background. Um, but you're going to hear it soon enough, that's for sure. Um, let's get on the trail and get hiking. I got this massive sycamore. There's no way we're getting across this thing. So I'm gonna to have to go back up to another trail and then go up over towards where we wanna get on the bluffs. Um, I have to go back to my car anyway because in my hurry to get out here, I left a piece of equipment, which uh, I really might need depending on how long I'm gonna stay out here today. So I'm gonna walk us down this creek a little bit and then I'll see what happens. Oh, I'm kinda of getting a late start today. I was excited to get out because I Got a later start today than I really wanted to. Uh, went to another small city park area I might take you to sometime. And uh, found like an old homeless camp that was, they had just messed things up. So I spent about an hour cleaning that up. But, you know, I don't know. I just hate seeing that much trash in the woods. It's ridiculous, even if it is a city park. So I finally got out here into the country, and I was in such a hurry, and so uh, jazzed up from eating my cinnamon roll. <laughs> I forgot my uh, forgot the one piece of equipment I might need in a couple hours. So uh, here we go, hiking back. Okay, I've gone back to the car, gotten what I needed, and we are now back on the other way we are going to go, and I had to stop back and uh, get this. This is a uh, M Power Pad 2 Mini, and it's a uh, solar charger, so I can charge my phone using the power of the sun. My brother got me this. Thank you, brother. Thanks, bud. And uh, I just want to have this out and ready. It's already charged, but just in case uh, my camera gets goes dead on me or I'm out here too long, this is a really nice thing to have when I'm out in the bush. So, uh, yeah. I wanted to have it. I left it in the back window of my car. Not sure if you can hear it, but there's uh sounds like one or two hawks crying in the distance. This is mainly all uphill for a bit. I'm not sure if we're off trail or on trail. I'm on some sort of trail. Maybe just a little bit of a game trail here. Hey guys. So I wanted to show you this. It's only been like a week since we had snow on the ground. But I came up to this area and look how green. Oh, it's just a delight. I just want to go lay down in it. Did 
You guys thought I was joking. Oh, it's not even that wet. Wake me up in a couple years. I think I just smashed my candy bar. <laughs> This is why I come to the woods. Nature therapy, good medicine. All right, let's get to the top of this bluff. Another nice break. You know, I'm thinking if I can get my, if I can get it to work out, it would be fun to do a side-by-side -side comparison of, uh, me and Skyrim walking around Riften and then walking this path. Hope you guys don't mind the nerdy gamer references. I'm a geek at heart. I almost labeled this channel Geek Off Trail, but uh, I went with my old moniker instead. But it is gorgeous out here. Perfect day. So yeah, I'm gonna be making geek references. I think you guys will adapt just fine. Oh man, all right, we're getting up here to a really good overlook. Earlier I did say I'd spent a day up here. It was right here, and this overlook here, and these stones. I just came up here, and I guess it was kind of a mini vision quest, if you will, and I just came up here, took a day off work, and I just sat here. I got up here early in the morning. It was during the summer, it was pretty hot. I think it was July or August, probably almost eight or ten years ago. And I just hung out right up here and just let the world go by me. It's a good medicine spot. Pretty good view. Yeah, the other day I was here, I uh, had a butterfly. Butterfly came out and hung out with me pretty much all day. It land on my skin to get uh, the sweat because it was so hot to get hydrated. I think it was a Grand Emperor butterfly, if I remember right. Yeah, it kept me, uh, kept me company for a good three or four hours. Glad I came out here today. You can't get more perfect weather. All right, so we are coming up on the end of this bluff and the trail up here goes down. So we're gonna go down and try and get to the creek. Just check the time. Running a little close, but I think we can do this. The uh, bluff, you can see, we got the creek down here. It's clear creek. And then it drops off down here on the other side. So it's coming out here to a point. Big old rock table slab thing. Get that from another view here. Let me get over here and turn it around. There we go. All right. It's a prime adventure now because it's going to get woolly. All right, here it is. Okay, I think I found the way down. I'm gonna turn you around so you can see where we're going. Hold on to your buds. Okay, we walked right through here. We're going down here. I think. Looks like a trail. There's nothing. 
All right, we're at, all right. So we are uh, we're having fun. I think I uh, I had to stop the camera for a minute because I I happened to look down and uh, realized that I was not in a good spot. <laughs> There's my boot. There's the down below. The idea is not to slip on this stuff. I think this is one of those trails that's better to go up than to come down. I'm not sure. Whew. Okay. But uh, it's still pretty treacherous. So there you go, Sean. Some bluffage. All up in it. Okay, still going down. So slick right here. Oh, oh shit. Whew. That was almost bad. Dumb log. Man. So this thing right here gave way. And it's still, luckily it jammed up against that tree. I almost took my legs out. Adventure. That would have sucked. All right, let's get down. Okay, there we go. Almost home free. That's when you got to be careful, though. Butts of our jeans are already dirty, so we can just land on a hip and slide down if we got it, right? Whoa! <laughs> Level ground. Oh man. Well, from what I can tell, that was the trail. Oh, this is cool. I'm gonna show you guys this. There you go. That's where we were. And this is where we're going. You can kind of see it weaves along here, but this trail is not uh, not for the faint of heart or the clumsy. Sharp rocks everywhere. It's pretty slick. Um, you got bluffage this way. And water that way. So it just kind of meanders along and you just have to be careful where you put your feet. And it's always good to grab a tree to make sure you're steady. And to never put your foot down unless you know it's solid. It's warm enough, I'm actually keeping an eye open for snakes. I don't think they'd be out, but they might pop themselves out to sun to regulate a bit. But it got so cold last night, I don't think so. Look at that. Look at that sycamore. Awesome. Whoa. <laughs> too fast. You can see open ground now. It's right around this turn, huh? Right. I 
love this. I love it. Okay, back down. So we are back out on level ground finally. We came from that direction, right along there. Whew. That was a good workout and a lot of fun. All right, so we're gonna shoot into the sun here and right off into the sunset. Or, yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Uh, this has been a good trip. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'll be glad to come back out here in the spring, maybe. Maybe do some fishing out here. Um, problem with this particular creek is that it is incredibly polluted from some upstream happenings in town where a lot of pollutants were dumped into this creek back in the 70s and 80s. And um, from what I understand, there's still uh, a no-eat warning on fish out of this creek. Sad but true. But I've heard it's good fishing, so maybe we'll come out here and see what we can catch. Come out here in the spring, try and catch the wildflowers. I really like this place. I'd forgotten how much I like this place. If you want to see more of this place, let me know down in the comments below. If there's someplace else you'd like to see me go or something else you want to see me do, leave a comment. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed going on a hike with me at the Cedar Bluffs Nature Preserve. Thank you, Nature Conservancy. Thank you. All right, well, I got my dirt time. I hope you got your dirt time. And if you didn't, get out and get some dirt time, whatever it may be, because it's good for you. Take care, everybody. And uh, I'm going to go eat me the rest of that cinnamon roll. <laughs>